Hi there guys, hope you are doing great. In this video, I will share with you my 3x3 rule with practicing metronome. I know most of you guys practicing a lot, wants to get faster, but don't know what to do and you are watching a lot of videos i think this video will be very helpful for you i will share one of my patreon videos as an example so you will be able to see what's going on in my patreon page starting from jedi counselor and above tires you will be able to find this kind of videos so when you jump to jedi master you will be able to send your videos to me and i will give you some feedback create a program for you guys usually i say like if you want to support my channel please join my patreon page but it's too humble i believe because there are some nice videos there and i will shoot more related to your needs ask me your questions and i will try my best to shoot some videos for you guys hi there guys hope you are doing great in this video i would like to talk about a uh, three by three rule and you can use that five by five too so um, as you know i make a video about how to practice with metronome and i talked about like three repeats you should play without any mistakes. And I just want to talk about the importance of that. So I just finished a private lesson, online lesson, and my student uh, was playing uh, four note sequences on major modes. So you can find this video uh, on my YouTube channel and you can find the tabs in my Patreon page. Um, so it's something like this, you know, you are playing modes of major scale with like four note sequences sorry for my <laughs> not clean playing yeah this is way better so i didn't warm up anyways so my student was playing with 80 bpm and he was making mistakes and my rule always if you make mistakes three times you slow down let's say like this if you make mis mistakes without able to playing three times back to back and you make three mistakes before that you slow down so he didn't use that technique and uh, he wasn't able to play with 80. So this 3x3 three three rule uh, system always, I mean, help you to find your right tempo for practicing. Because the most important thing is uh, for practicing guitar or learning, uh, not just repeating 10,000 times. They say like, you know, 10,000 times you repeat, you create muscle memory. No. If you play with mistakes, you can play one million times. You are not going to create right muscle memory. Your brain, not you have to feed your brain with the right information, um, clean information. If you do that, you don't need 10,000 repeats. Just 50 repeats, 20 repeats will be enough. So he was playing with 80 and he was making mistakes and, and I make him slow down. So guess what? Where he was able to play uh, and in which the tempo he was able to play, that was 30 BPM. So 80 to 30 is like two and a half time, I'm 2.6 time. So he was playing 2.6 time faster than he should. And I think most of you guys also doing that I'm doing that too, so as you see, for the first try, I play with the mistakes. But what I have to do, I have to practice uh, with the metronome. If I make mistakes, I have to slow down uh, till I find my right tempo. And uh, another thing is the most important thing for guitar practice efficiency, starting from right tempo. So I get a message. Uh, on my, let's say, how to practice with metronome video, shall we start with the high tempos? Let's say one day you practice with 100 BPM, something, you know, uh, 16 notes, uh, exercise or triplets, what else? So you play with 100 BPM, next day you wake up 
you can start with 90. But I don't advise that. Because if you start with 90, there is a high risk for you to make mistakes or non-synchronized right and left hand and blah, blah, blah. So starting slow, actually, 50 BPM, is not going to be a waste of time because you will create better muscle memories. Your synchronization will be better. You will be able to check are they playing clean or not. And the common mistake, let's say, when you play fast, um, another information. So I'm covering low strings here. But when you, I mean, most of my students or most of the guitar player missing that, and you can see that low E is open and it's create like this kind of unclean sound. So what you have to do, you have to be able to fix your, let's say, technical mistakes too. So that's why starting from slow tempos is not going to be a waste of time. It's actually an, a good investment for you guys. So start slow, warm up, reach your highest tempo, I mean push, and you will see that. Uh, I, I hope like I will continue uh, with the uh, next video. Uh, I want to show you guys the differences. So my student spent one week 80 and he reached uh, 80 BPM, but with a lot of mistakes. Now he will start practicing with 30 and I'm sure that next week he will be able to play more than 100 maybe 100 or maybe clean 90, we will see the result. But he will triple the tempo or double the tempo easily with right practice routine. So I think that's it, guys. That was my experience and I wanted to share with you. Um, I think this is one of the most important lessons you can get because most of us practicing with... Uh, I mean, most of us actually focusing the speed we want to reach the speed but we don't know what is it i mean 90 percent is this practicing wrong tempo because learning anything it's easy learning guitar getting fast is easy if you practice with high efficiency away from mistakes so try that and please let me know uh, your experiences thank you guys and i hope to see you on my upcoming video cheers